Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? I am. Let's see, it's 7:38 on Monday, aka Labor Day, aka what is today? September 2nd, I do believe. And I am off to see the wizard. Nah, for real. I'm going to look for some treasure real quick. It's probably gonna be my last, my last attempt at treasure hunting. Hopefully, treasure finding until uh, this whole Hurricane Dorian nonsense passes. I'm sick of playing the "Is the hurricane gonna hit us or is the hurricane not gonna hit us?" game. So we're about to find out shortly. I think we're supposed to get some sort of something. Uh, later tonight, maybe tomorrow early morning is when it's supposed to start, like the wind and rain. It looks like, I don't know, man, these hurricane projections seem like they change every five seconds. So a couple days ago, I thought we were going to get absolutely leveled by this hurricane. And then the forecast changed and they made it sound like it wasn't going to make landfall in Florida. And then it changed again and then it changed again. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, you guys get the picture. So now I don't know, man. I don't think we're going to get it too bad i live like uh 40 minutes 35 and eh, probably like 35 minutes from the coast so i'm not right on the coast thankfully for that very reason because i don't like hurricanes but at the same time i guess we're far enough that if it does get too close to the coast at least we're not gonna we don't have to worry about the crazy storm surge or flooding for the most part or you know any of the crazy crazy weather we'll probably just Probably just get super windy, super rainy, more so like we'll get the tropical storm effects. So, with all that said, now that we got all the pleasantries out of the way, I don't know what this video is going to turn into, like a lot of my videos, but we are going treasure hunting really quick if these stores are even open. Uh, it looks like, looks like a lot of these places are closed, probably in anticipation of the hurricane. Florida's, or Florida, <laughs> Target's open. Hopefully this Ross and Marshall's is open. Then we're going to hit Burlington right after as long as that's open because i found a really good pair of sneakers at burlington the other day some uh nike air vapor maxes good find i love when i find the vapor maxes i found two so far within the past like two weeks so hoping for some more good luck uh we shall see that we're about to find out we got some vip parking so let's Ooh, I just stepped outside of Ross and it's not raining obviously, but it is getting a little breezy. So I'm guessing that's probably because a storm's up brewing, a hurricane's blowing in. Hopefully it won't be too bad though. Anyways, Ross, round one, store one, well, let's go. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? That guy, that's who. Pretty sure I've looked these things up before. And let's see, does it say something right here? Yep. <laughs> Not worth anything, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Got a ton of Steph Curry shoes like usual. Fortunately, those never sell for anything either. Mm -hmm. Oh, the King of Champion, what you know about that? I don't see much gas. Some more stuff, Curry on armor shoes. Surprise, surprise. I was looking at these ones mostly just because I like the colorway. It's kind of like a Seahawks colorway, but can't really find any on eBay. They're pretty cheap, $37.99. I'm thinking about these ones. I'm probably a little bit biased though, just because I like that colorway myself. I'll put them back for now. Other than that, what do we have here? I already looked those dudes up. Not much going on, guys. Not much going on. And that, my friends. I'm trying to make this quick, so I'm not really trying to look up too many shoes because I still want to hit up Marshalls and Burlington and possibly the other Ross. So, my friends, go check out the women's section. And then it's a wrap for uh, store one. 
Well, I was walking over to the women's section and spotted this dude. And once again, I'm a little bit biased because it's a Michigan jersey. And as some of you, or a lot of you probably know, I'm a huge Michigan fan. Well, you can see right here, they're selling for 30 bucks. It's only listed on, there's like a couple listings on, see the retail right there is 80. There's a couple listings on eBay for right around 50. So I don't know, it might be a, it's the only problem is it's XO, which honestly isn't really that big for a jersey. So I don't know, I'll probably make like 20 quick bucks off it. But I don't know, man. I might come back and grab this dude. Take a little time to think about it. Well, we came to look at shoes, but the only two things I'm actually contemplating getting are, I found another one of these Michigan jerseys. So this one's actually medium, which I'm not sure if I'm a medium or large, but I might grab this one and just end up keeping it if I can't sell it as long as it fits. So I'll probably grab this. And then I found this sweet little Space Jam t-shirt as well, which is nine bucks. Looks like it's sold for, I don't know, like 17 or 18 on eBay a couple days ago. So might keep this one for myself as well if it fits and that is about it for ross guys all right so i spent entirely way too long at that ross it's like eight something now and all i ended up with was this michigan jersey which that's the problem with this uh reselling stuff sometimes it's a little bit too tempting to buy some treasure for yourself so like i said i'm still gonna try and sell this because i already have a bunch of michigan football jerseys at home i don't have any uh Jordan ones, I don't believe though, but uh, we'll see. If I can sell it, cool. If not, it's probably gonna end up being my treasure. Either way, we shall see. Now, uh, as you guys may notice, it's dark outside, so let's go hit up uh, Marshall's, which is right about right about there, and uh, we'll continue this journey. Well, my friends, check it out. We're at Marshall's, right? Right. Getting ready to go in. Getting ready to go in. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. Wait. What the? Hold on. What happened? Monday, September 2nd, Labor Day. Open regular store hours. I don't know about you guys, but uh, today's Monday and uh, it doesn't look very open to me. <laughs> all right, so it uh, looks like we won't be going to Marshall's after all. Looks like uh, Ross is not afraid of the hurricane, but uh, Marshall's, that's a different story. It's like a ghost town around here right now, which, uh, I mean, it's like eight o'clock, so it's not completely unexpected, although it is Monday, so it's, it's a little bit weird. But that's the first uh, business or store or whatever that I've seen with any windows boarded up. So uh, that's a first. Hopefully we'll have some better luck at Burlington, maybe the other Ross. That one, like I said, is not afraid of no stinking hurricane. They said they're open till like 11 tonight. So, uh, go check out Burlington maybe the other Ross hopefully we'll have some better luck and come out of this with at least one good purchase that I don't end up keeping myself <laughs> that's the game plan uh, let's go well we made it to stop number three which is the Burlington in Sanford flow ride a and I'm having a little bit of deja vu does this scene look familiar to anyone else except uh you guys can see obviously they got their doors all boarded up as well but they also have a bunch of these signs right here let's say open open so i'm guessing they're open and now i'm starting to think maybe that marshall's was open too and i could have just tried to open the door and maybe it would open although i can't remember but i'm thinking it looked kind of dark in there i don't know i'm gonna run in here real quick we'll see what's up in here see what i have and then uh i might head back to that uh marshall's try to open the door see how that works out hopefully i don't set off any alarms and i might actually run back in that ross and grab that other michigan shirt jersey i saw the uh xl Choices, choices, guys. Let's go. Kinda creepy opening a door that's all boarded up. I don't know why. It just feels weird. All right, let's do a quick little run through because I actually did find some Vapor Maxes in the women's section at this exact same Burlington like a uh, week ago, maybe. And I think I got them for like 50 and flipped them for like 135. So pretty good flip i'd say pretty good find maybe we'll get lucky find something similar not looking too promising yet <laughs> let me know if you guys see anything capiche like yeah yeah not looking too promising guys not looking too promising clearance 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 <laughs> 
I feel like I was just here like two days ago. Honestly, they probably haven't even restocked at all since then. So I'm probably looking at the exact same shoes. But you never know with these stores. It's hard to tell, honestly, when they restock. And I don't want to miss out on any treasure, guys. Do not want to do that. That's a big no-no. Uh, well, women's section is not treating us good. That's about it, unless I miss something. Moving right along. Got my son's favorite section, which you guys may have never guessed, but yeah, it's the toy section. Who would have thunk, right? I don't even know what I'm looking for here, honestly. I got, ooh, my little dude's just starting to get into Pokemon. Put Pokemon Go on my phone, which was a huge mistake. And he pretty much uh, stole my phone for the past like two days until he ran out of Pokeballs, thankfully. Now I got my phone back, as you guys can see. Hmm, like I said though, I really don't know what I'm looking for in toys. I gotta do more research and figure out what, uh, what some good finds are. But I have seen my boy Pete at pretty much every one of these stores. He's been at Ross, he's been at Target on clearance, he's been at Marshalls, obviously, you know, he's at Burlington. He does not seem to be very popular. Ooh, this is fun. Ten buckaroos. Moving on, since we didn't come here to buy any toys. Let's go to, where's that? I feel like I should know by now. The men's shoe section. But first, we'll check out the kids section. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, oh. <laughs> Done playing around. Let's get serious. Back to business. These do not look like children's shoes. Oh, actually, just kidding. They do. All right, so back to the, uh, I don't really know what I'm looking for. Yeah, that kind of applies to kids' shoes as well. I mean, you can look these up on eBay, the same you would like men's shoes or women's shoes or sneakers, but, uh, I did buy one pair the other day that I think I showed in a video and they haven't had to, even though I think it was a good find and there was quite a few listings and some of them did sell recently for like twice what I paid for them. Uh, yeah, they don't have too many views so far, so I might hold off on any kids' shoes until those ones sell or until I do more research and figure out what I'm actually looking for. So I'm not trying to stockpile a giant inventory of uh, products that I can't move in my apartment. What the heck are these? No name brand? Oh, these are Jordans. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. We'll look these up. Yeah, well, I'm not in the business of losing money, so these things are quite fugly. And that's going to be a strong, can't emphasize strong enough to pass on these dudes. <laughs> All of colors, not doing it for me. Apparently, it's not doing it for too many people on eBay either. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the Burlington men's section, right as the music goes off, and now I'm awkwardly talking to myself. <laughs> Got some Adidas. All right, guys, let's find some Vapor Maxes. Come on, show me the Vapor Maxes. Those are not them. Where you at, Vapor Max? Where you at? Nothing, 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 nothing. What the heck are these things? What in the world are they? Are these like sprinting shoes? Running shoes of some type? Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, where'd I begin? Where, where'd I leave off? Was it this row? Maybe? Oh. What do we have? Oh, I actually looked these dudes up the other day. Seems like they'd be kind of a rare good find, but uh, yeah, not so much. Alright, I guess I left off in this aisle. I'm losing my mind, guys. I'm losing my mind. What do we have here at Michigan Colorway? Good thing those are not very good looking shoes or I might be a little tempted to buy those as well. Although that's definitely not my size. Here's a little pro tip. Not that I'm a pro yet, but pro in practice. You can look at the comparable value and if the comparable value is like, I don't know, over 100, then I think it's worth looking up the number that I've showed you guys in previous videos, the art number, which is, let's see if we can see it. Right there, you see the art number? That's what you look up on eBay to uh, find this exact shoe, see how much it sells for, see how good it sells. That's my tip though. If it this number's low, it's usually not worth looking up. Well, we only got a few more aisles to go and a whole lot of nothing so far. Honestly, didn't expect too much tonight, but I figured, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'd try and get out one more time before the hurricane possibly shuts down some stores for a couple days. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but rather be uh, safe than sorry. 
And like I said, look for treasure one more time before I'm possibly, possibly, depending on uh, what kind of mood the hurricane's in, blocked out for a couple days from treasure hunting. So I'm scratching that itch one more time. One more time, guys, and I'm running out of stores. Like I said, this looks like the end of the road for uh, Burlington. But I think I'm going to go back to that Marshalls and see if the door opens. All right, this is the last pair of shoes I'm going to look up real quick. I've been seeing these Hyper Dunks everywhere. And I think depending on the colorway, some of them actually do sell decently. So go ahead and check these dudes out real quick. Where's the number? Right there, AT3866701. They're $44.99. And as you guys just saw on the screen, they're selling pretty consistently for like upper 80s, lower 90s. Maybe I should start looking at these more carefully because like I said, I've been seeing these things everywhere in all different colorways. And I haven't been looking them up like I probably should be doing. Make sure there's no marks on them or anything. They'll look pretty clean. Yeah, I'll go ahead and grab these and head back to uh back to Marshall's. Well, there's certainly no Vapor Maxes like I found last time at Burlington, but they're gonna have to do for tonight. So let's head to the register, grab these dudes, and back to Ross slash Marshall's we go. And we are off back in. How do we get out here? This thing's not open. <laughs> Let me out, man. I'm getting claustrophobic. Well, Burlington, it's been real. Thanks for the hype of dunks. I feel like I just saw this exact same pair, exact same colorway at Ross. So like now I kind of want to go back and see if the price is the same. I know I saw some purple ones, so let's head back to Ross. Well, we made it back to Ross. And this is what the situation is looking like. Clearly Ross is still open, but I think I might have been right about Marshall's the first time. Even though, like you guys saw, it said they're open labor, what was it, normal Labor Day hours or something. You can see uh, the parking lot is quite empty to say the least. So this is not looking too promising, but we'll go ahead and give the old calls a try. Like I said, hopefully I don't set off any alarms. Let's go find out the moment of truth is upon us you guys ready for this in three two one drum roll please oh oh yeah yeah we're good <laughs> we're good all right first things first headed to my favorite section this one right here the clearance section wait I thought this was the guy's clearance <laughs> am i lost Here we go, holy crap, there's a lot of these Tommy Hilfiger shoes. Look at all these things. Clearly a very popular purchase. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ooh, what do we have here? Definitely check these dudes out. Right there, you can see the Brandon Ingram, what are these, like UCLA colorway? I don't know why, because he was a Duke player, but uh, Maybe I'm missing something. Anyways, they don't sell for quite as much as I was hoping for, but considering they're dirt cheap, go ahead and grab them. They should be a nice little easy flip. Probably get at least like 50 for them, maybe 60, maybe even more. So these dudes are coming with me for sure. That's probably about it though. Unless I see anything else real quick. Well, looks like we found another pair that's coming out with me. Not too crazy about kids shoes, like I said, but these dudes are pretty rare shoes. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that. Hiraches, Hiraches, I feel like I should know this, but uh, it's actually, I think it's called the Spider-Man colorway. And for 27 bucks, should easily be able to flip these for at least twice that. So we'll go ahead and grab these two, take a gamble, and let's go. All right, so I'm contradicting myself like crazy. I was just talking about not really being too comfortable with getting kids shoes, but these uh, Hiraches, I feel like I'm mispronouncing that, but I've been doing my research, looking out for uh, good shoes or good finds, and these, at least in the adult sizes, are apparently a really good find. So that's the reason I grabbed these dudes. I don't know, we'll see. At the very least, obviously, like I've talked about in past videos, there's not really much of a, a uh, risk, as long as you keep your receipt and you don't lose the product, because you can just return it within 30 days if they're not selling on eBay. So not too much risk involved, but still. I don't know, I still feel not too confident in uh, what kind of kid shoes I'm looking for. 
but it will all come in due time. Now, uh, back to Ross we go. Well, came back to Ross, ran inside, grabbed that other Michigan jersey, and now, my friends, the wind is definitely picking up. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. That's not too rough on the uh, old microphone. But you can definitely tell that uh, something's headed our way. With that said, who knows what's gonna happen. We'll find out tomorrow. Like I said, uh, the wind has definitely picked up, so I have a feeling we'll get some sort of tropical storm-ish weather. Hopefully it's not too bad. But uh, I know one thing, it's not gonna be anything remotely compared to uh, what the Bahamas has been dealing with. So, very fortunate in that regard that, uh, man, I can't even imagine being in the Bahamas when this severe of a hurricane category five strikes can't imagine what they're going through right now so my heart definitely goes out to uh, everyone in the bahamas that's dealing with this i hope they're able to rebuild quickly i hope they get all the help they need food supplies hopefully uh everybody's as safe as they can be and i don't know what i'll say about it, man so it's, uh, it's a terrible thing the bahamas is without a doubt a beautiful destination a beautiful place to live i've been fortunate enough to visit there on a couple different occasions and it's a really cool place, beautiful place, cool people. But unfortunately, along with that beauty of living on, you know, a small chain of islands comes the risk of hurricanes. And sometimes super powerful ones like this one decide they want to uh, do some damage and apparently it's been doing a lot of damage in the Bahamas. So once again, my heart goes out to everyone. If you're watching this from the Bahamas, I don't know if I have any viewers that live in that part of the world, but if I do, I'm a... Uh, I'm not a religious dude, so I'm not gonna say I'm praying for you, but I'm hoping things turn out for the best. And that's really all I can say. As for uh, me in Orlando, I'll keep you guys updated. I think I posted on a video earlier today that if you guys don't see me post for a couple days, I have been recording content, so I do have some videos to edit, but if you don't see me post for a couple days, probably means that uh, my power went out. And hopefully that's not the case, because I don't know what I'm gonna do if I don't have power, man. But We'll see, guys. We shall see. Anyways, I'm hitting up PDQ, which, if you don't know, is probably my favorite fast food place on planet Earth. If you have one by you and you haven't tried it, go right now. I don't care what you're doing. Put it down. Head to PDQ. Get your yum yums on. And that, my friends, is going to be a wrap for the video because I'm starving. My stomach's growling. It's 9.30. <laughs> I said at the beginning of this video, like I always do, I was going to try and keep it short and sweet, try and run through the stores. Hopefully find some good treasure. We accomplished one of those. It was not quick by any means, but we did find hopefully some good finds. I think I found some good stuff, but you don't really know until obviously you list it and then you sell it. So uh, once I get home and tuck the little man in, put him to sleep, I'm gonna take some pictures, list the products on eBay, and I'll let you guys know how they sell. So with that said, I wanna thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And if you are in the path of this hurricane, I hope you stay safe, stay inside, or whatever they tell you to do, evacuate, if that's what they're telling you. Uh, if you live on the coast and they have mandatory evacuations, I definitely recommend following it. Although if you're watching this video, it's probably too late at this point because I don't think I'm going to publish this until uh, after the hurricane passes. So, uh, yeah, hoping for the best for everyone. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, stay safe, enjoy your day, enjoy your life make the best of every moment and i'll catch you in the next video and as always stay limitless take a shot you got everything you'll ever need you fought you're not gonna let up on a speed those knots they got you are only make believe